evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Kurt Schilling Field in Medfield for Ashland Sevens Legion Baseball. We had a slight delay due to rain, but the rain has went away, and we are ready for some baseball as 13-1 and one Ashland takes on 12-2 and two Medfield in the regular season finale, and this game has huge playoff implications. The winner will get the number one spot in the Massachusetts Independent Baseball League playoffs as Dushney will step in. Matt Mason Dushney leading things off, playing shortstop. And the first pitch is a ball. Let's take a look at the lineup for the Ashland Sevens. Mason Dushney leading things off. Sam Farrell, the center fielder, batting second. Jackson Horning, the catcher, hitting third. Dom Cavanaugh, the first baseman, hitting cleanup as there's a strike. The pitcher for Medfield is Ryan Donahue. Dom Cavanaugh, the first baseman, hitting cleanup. Tyler Doss is the pitcher, hitting fifth. Kevin Balowitz, the left fielder, hitting sixth. Shea Donovan, the third baseman, hitting seventh. As this is up the middle, takes a couple hops on the grass, throw to first, got him. Uh, six to three out. Four out, number one. Continuing with the batting order, Shea Donovan hitting seventh, playing third base. Max Dushney, the second baseman, hitting eighth. And Nick Calabrese, the right fielder, hitting ninth. As Sam Farrell will step in to face Ryan Donahue. We'll take a look at the Medfield Diamond, the Medfield River Rats. Ryan Donahue is the pitcher. Mike Giglio, the first baseman. Wind up in the pitch down low. Sam Kernett at first base. Over at second base, it is going to be Max Goodman. The shortstop is Nick Sheehan. And at third base, Jack McDonald. We'll take you left to right in just a moment as that's fouled away. From left to right, it is Luigi Musto, Sam Palmer, and Ryan Murray. Fourth, 12 and to Medfield. The rain's still falling a bit here at Schilling Field. The postponement was due to lightning. And taking one for the team there is Sam Farrell. It'll bring up Jackson Hornung, the catcher. So Hornung will step in. And we'll hope that the big storms stay away. There's been some pop-up thunderstorms throughout the area. Tom Nappy on the call, Connor Donovan on camera. As Hornung gets a piece of this, into right field it goes. Farrell being waved around, he's heading to third. And it's gonna be two on with one out for the sevens. A good piece of hitting there by Hornung. And now Dom Cavanaugh will step in. Runners on first and third for the sevens. As the rain continuing to drizzle a little bit here at Schilling Field. Donahue delivers, swing and a miss. The playoffs are set to start Thursday for the Massachusetts Independent Baseball League. And one thing's for sure, both of these teams will be hosting some games, but the question is who will get that number one seed? Checking at first, runner slides back. And we'll keep an eye on the radar as well throughout the game. Runner taking off from first, Hornung will have a stolen base. Showing off the wheels and getting a big applause from his teammates. Donahue set to deliver. Two umpires working today's game. You got one behind the pitcher's mound and then you have the infield ump towards the midfield bench as there's a strike to Kavanaugh. We're in the top of the first here. This game was set for a five o'clock start. Started a little bit late, about 10 minutes late because of thunder and lightning in the area. As this is gloved by the third baseman, a run scores, throw to first. They'll get the out, but a run does score. One nothing sevens, a sacrifice RBI ground out for Kavanaugh. 
Horning up to third, that'll bring up Tyler Dossis, the pitcher. An opportunity to help his own cause here. Wind up and the pitch. And with the way Dossis has thrown this season, certainly a good guy to have out there on the mound today. There's a strike. Line up and the pitch, inside. <laughs> Fouled away. Is a two and two count on Dossus. And he will get a piece of this. It is foul. Right into the parking lot, and that might have hit someone's car. Donahue set to deliver. You certainly got to be careful where you park here at uh, Schilling Field. And he'll get a piece of this. Up the gap it goes into left field and another run scores. An RBI single for Dossis. That'll bring up Kevin Balowitz, the left fielder. A 2-0 lead for the Sevens. The bats getting going early on. Donahue delivers, there's a strike. Midfield led by head coach Rob Mintz, Ashland Sevens led by head coach Jake Obit, of course. Line up and the pitch. And this is gonna take a couple hops on the grass, throw to first, they'll get the out, but after a half inning of play, the Ashland Sevens played a pair and they lead it two to nothing as we head to the bottom of the first. You're tuned in to Ashland Sevens Summer Baseball. Bottom of the first inning, Tyler Dossis out there for the Sevens. Let's take a look at the midfield lineup. Nick Sheehan, the shortstop, will lead things off. Max Goodman, the second baseman, batting second. Sam Palmer, the center fielder, hitting third. Sam Kernett, the first baseman, hitting cleanup. Ryan Murray, the right fielder, hitting fifth. Jack McDonald, the third baseman, hitting sixth. Nick Childs, the DH, hitting seventh. Luigi Masta, the left fielder, is hitting eighth. And Mike Giglio, the catcher, hitting ninth. Four, 12, and two Medfield for 13 and one Ashland. Here's their diamond. Tyler Dossis is the pitcher. Jackson Horning, the catcher. Dom Cavanaugh at first base. Max Dushney, the second baseman. Mason Dushney, the third, the shortstop. Shea Donovan, the third baseman. From left to right, Kevin Balowitz, Sam Farrell, and Nick Calabrese. As the first pitch is ball one to Sheehan. A 2 nothing lead for the sevens. Dossis deals. Ball two. Wind up and the pitch, a little high. Tyler Dossis has had a good season on the mound for the Sevens. And there's a walk to Sheehan to start things off. That'll bring up Max Goodman, the second baseman. Pitching wise for Dossis, he's worked 19 and a third of an inning. One win, no losses. And he has a 1.81 ERA on the season for the Sevens. First pitch to Goodman is low. And 
Medfield using the name the River Rats for their season in the Massachusetts Independent Baseball League. Medfield, of course, typically out of zone six. And since this season's not affiliated with Legion, they couldn't use the post numbers or anything referencing Legion. So some of the teams chose team names, such as Ashland, who chose the Sevens. Of course, traditionally, they would be post 77, but this year they are the Sevens. Tom Nappy, happy to be with you here at beautiful Schilling Field in Medfield. Connor Donovan on camera, that one's fouled away. You're tuned in to Ashland Sevens Baseball, airing on WACA TV in Ashland, HCAM in Hopkinton, as well as HCAT in Holliston. Runner on for Medfield, no outs. Dossa steals up high. That pitch is down low, another walk there. So early struggles for Dossus. Two on, no outs for Medfield. That'll bring up Sam Palmer, the center fielder. Wind up and the pitch. There's a strike. See if Dossus can find a rhythm. Slight lead by both runners. Dossus looks at second and delivers down low. Well, there is uh, still a danger of more rain coming into the area. As this is hit up the middle, that'll get through. Here comes Sheehan around for Medfield as Farrell has some trouble with the ball in center field. Goodman heading to third. He'll get in with ease, and now to second goes Palmer. An RBI single by Sam Palmer. He advances on the throw. Goodman up to third. Nick Sheehan to the plate. It's a 2-1 to one game, and now you got Sam Kern at the first baseman coming to the plate. And Coach Obid wants a discussion with Dossis. And he's going to call in the infield as well. So the great pitcher for Ashland, Tyler Dossis, struggling a little bit here in this first inning. And hopefully he could break out of these struggles and find the strike zone. Continuing to monitor the radar here. Looks like the rain is staying just to our north. Obviously that could change in an instant. So we'll hope that it does indeed stay to the north as that pitch is in there for a strike. But it'll certainly be something to monitor throughout this ball game. Pretty good turnout for this big Massachusetts Independent Baseball League game as that pitch is down low. One and one is the count to Kernet. So it's a two to one game. Medfield still has two runners on and no outs. As this is hit high in the air, right field and ranging back is the second baseman Dushney to make the catch. One away. And that'll bring up Ryan Murray, the right fielder. Well, both of these teams out there today have been at the top of the Massachusetts Independent Baseball League all season long. And this is a long-awaited matchup here in the regular season finale. As this is fouled away. I know Connor certainly hasn't been able to stop talking about this matchup today. No one one count on Murray. Runners on second and third, one out. There's a nice breaking pitch. 
Oh, and two. And we're hearing some thunder off in the distance here. Let's hope it stays off in the distance. Line up and the pitch. And this is up the left side, takes a hop. Glove by the shortstop. Throw to first, did he get him? Yes. Great play by Dushney. Mason Dushney just getting it there. Four out number two, but a run does score. So we are knotted at two. Max Goodman comes around, Sam Palmer up to third, Jerry McDonald to the plate. So a job well done by Ryan Murray for Medfield to tie things up. So if rain does come, of course, the rules are if there's any thunder and lightning, it would be at least a half hour delay in the action. If there's any sight of lightning. And of course, five innings makes an official game. Now initially, it wasn't supposed to rain at all today, but there's been some pop-up thunderstorms throughout the area. Obviously, a lot of humidity in the air lately is leading to that as this is fouled off. And there it goes into the bus loop behind us. Here at Medfield, or Fields technically at Medfield Middle School, the high school right up the street. Wind up and the pitch. Nice breaking pitch, a little high though. Let's get you the dimensions here of Schilling Field. 341 to left field, 347 to center. Right field is 310 feet. Swing and a miss. There's out number three and we are through one. We are knotted at two apiece as we head to the top of the second. You are tuned in to Ashland 7 Summer Baseball. Top of the second inning, Shea Donovan stepping to the plate. Two to two game, and we apologize. We're having some technical difficulties with the live stream, but we seem to have it going now, and hopefully it'll uh, stay connected pretty solid. But of course, uh, the reception here at uh, Medfield is not the best, as the first pitch to Donovan is a ball. Shea Donovan, Max Dushney, Nick Calabrese do up this inning. Swing and a miss there. One and one. Line up and the pitch, a little low. Two and one is the count. There's a strike, two and two. Donahue shakes off the first sign and now deals. Up the left side, glove by the third baseman, throw to first in time. Five to three, four out number one. That'll we'll bring up Dushney to the plate. The younger Dushney, Max Dushney. You got both Dushneys centering the infield today. Mason at short and Max at second base. First pitch of ball. Donahue set to deliver. Swing and a miss. Pitch slightly high, two and one. Both teams scoring two runs in the first inning, a two to two game here in the top of the second. As this is hit foul. Two 
two. Two and two count. And he strikes out, but he's going to try to run it out to throw up in time. There's out number two. That'll bring up Nick Calabrese, the right fielder, who's been red hot with the bat lately. And for the moment, the rain has stopped here at Schilling Field. Of course, there was a bit of a delay to start this game, about a 10, 15 minute delay, nothing too crazy. And there's been pop-up storms all day, but for the moment, it looks like the rain's gonna stay away. An 0-1 count now on Calabrese. That pitch is low, one and one. Line up and the pitch down low. Oh, late strike call. And this is going to be up the left side, past the dive of the third baseman. The shortstop picks it up, but can't make the play. An infield single for Nick Calabrese, who just continues to get hits for the sevens. And now Mason Dushney will step in. Runner on, two outs for the sevens. Line up and the pitch, up high. That to deliver is Donahue. Swing and a miss. Dushney grounded out to start the first inning. Then the seven started a rally. Dushney's had a pretty good season with the bat for the sevens. Checking at first, runner back safe. Dushney has played in 13 games, a 324 batting average, 415 on base percentage for the shortstop. Line up and the pitch. Down low. Two and one is the count. And Nick Calabrese came in this game batting over a 600. Line up and the pitch. There's a strike, two and two. 622 batting average for Nick Calabrese to be exact. 667 on base percentage. Pretty impressive stuff. Wind up and the pitch. Up high, runner takes off from first. Stolen base for Nick Calabrese as it gets away from Giglio behind the plate. Line up and the pitch. Swing and a miss. There's out number three. We will head to the bottom of the second. We are knotted at two apiece between Ashland and Medfield in this Massachusetts Independent Baseball League matchup on HCAM, WACA TV, and HCAT. Bottom of the second inning, a two to two game between the Ashland Sevens and Medfield. As Dossa steps back onto the mound, seven, eight, and nine do up. Nick Childs, Luigi. Masto and Mike Giglio, the catcher. Dossis delivers, hit high in the air, over to right field, and caught by Nick Calabrese. Fortunately, not a whole lot of sun out there to 
battle, and Calabrese able to make that catch. And I'll bring up the left fielder, Luigi Masto. Well, it's going to be a fun postseason in the Massachusetts Independent Baseball League as this is fouled away. Away and one. A lot of great competition in this league. And we'll take you through the standings in just a moment. Line up and the pitch. But the format actually is set so all the entire uh, league pretty much makes the postseason. And they have four brackets, double elimination. And of course, the higher your seed, the more home games you'll have. And if you got that one seed, like the winner of this game will, you'll have all the games at home. Well, that is, or at least you'll be the home team. There are some neutral sites during the postseason. 0-2 oh, count on Mosto. Leg lift and the pitch fouled away. The battle continues. We're at Kurt Schilling Field, just near the Medfield Middle School. High school right up the street. And it's turned into a pleasant evening for some baseball here after the rains have passed. As that's foul tipped, count remains 0 and 2. And we'll hope that these rains stay away. I know just north of us right now, they're getting a few thunderstorms. As this is hit high in the air, over to left center, and it is caught as Farrell calls off Balowitz to make the catch. Two away, that'll bring up Mike Giglio, the catcher. Pitch down low. Another pitch down low there. And a little bit of wind in the area. Swing and a miss. Two and one is the count. And this is fouled away. And it landed right next to my car. And Connor's car as well. Fortunately, it did not hit them. And that is fouled away up the third base side. Nice play by Nick Sheehan over there in the Medfield bench area. Dossus steals. And there is a ball, says the umpire. Dossus thought he had him. Full count. Now he does. Strike three. And that'll wrap up the bottom of the second to the top of the third we go. We are knotted up at two apiece here in Medfield on HCAM, WACA TV, and HCAT. Top of the third inning, two, three, and four do up for the sevens. Sam Farrell steps in. He was hit by a pitch in the first inning, ended up scoring one of the two sevens runs. Donahue set to deliver. Little inside. Sam Farrell, Jackson Horning, and Dom Cavanaugh do up this inning, the dangerous part of the sevens batting order. Well, this season, most of the batting order has been dangerous for the Sevens team. They've really been hitting the ball. Two and, out, two and oh count on Farrell. In their last two games, they've scored 22 runs. 12 to one win against Franklin, a 10 to six win on Friday night against Kingston as there's a strike. Sam Farrell on the season, a 357 batting average, 609 on base percentage. Line up and the pitch, a little high. Three and one is the count. And 
we were looking at the radar. It does look like some rain's going to clip us in about 15 to 20 minutes. Doesn't look like anything significant, however, as this is grounded a short throw at first, not a problem. Six to three, four out, number one. That'll bring up Jackson Hornung, the catcher. And we have a Boston Bruins update. The Bruins lost to the Flyers today, four to one. And they're... Uh, Stanley Cup contention games that pitch up high. Pretty much hockey uh, playing a few games before the actual playoffs to, to just determine uh, seeding. One and oh count, wind up and the pitch. There's a strike, one and one. Morning on the season, how about this? A 452 batting average, 587 on base percentage. And he'll follow this one away towards Coach Ovid. One and two. Morning has two home runs on the season, 15 RBIs, 19 runs scored. Donahue set to deliver. Time called by Hornung, and it's granted. Base is clear, one out for the sevens here in the top of the third. We're not at two apiece. Wind up and the pitch. Down low, gets away from the catcher. Two and two. Donahue waits the sign and is set to deal. Low and outside, that'll fill up the count. And the Sevens were certainly excited to get out there and play this game today to determine who the number one seed will be in the Massachusetts Independent Baseball League playoffs. Wind up and the pitch, that hit him. Hornung takes one for the team. He'll trot down to first with a smile on his face. And now Dom Cavanaugh will step in. And Hornung showing off the wheels going up the line. Dom Cavanaugh had a sacrifice RBI ground out that scored the first run of the day for the Sevens. Checking at first, runner back safe. That was close. Nice pickoff move by Donahue. Check in once again, and he's safe. Another close call. Corning loves to challenge pitchers, though. He likes to take those big leads and force them to throw over. And you know he's a threat to steal. He does already have a stolen base today. He stole home in the game against Kingston as this is up the middle, past the diving second baseman. Hornung is heading over to third base and he will be safe. Two on, one out for the sevens. A good piece of hitting by Dom Kavanaugh. Tyler Dossis will step in. And he had an RBI single in the first inning to score Hornung, an opportunity to do the same here. Slight lead over at first for Kavanaugh. Hornung with a nice lead down the line at third. That pitch down low. Wind up and the pitch. Down low, gets away from the catcher. Here comes Hornung, and he will score with ease. Three to two, sevens. A wild pitch allows Hornung to come around, and Kavanaugh advances up to second. Oh, 
Casas has hit the ball pretty nicely this season. 91 on base percentage, 325 batting average for Tyler Dossis. Donahue set to deliver as the wind picking up here in Medfield. A little outside. Yeah, maybe the sun's starting to peek out a little bit too. It's been a crazy day weather wise throughout the area. I know there was a tornado watch in Western Massachusetts. Wind up and the pitch down low. Catcher keeps it in front of him. Three and one is the count. The sun's starting to peek out a little bit. Wind up and the pitch. There's a called strike. Full count. Another run in for the sevens in the inning. Kavanaugh at second, a three to two lead. Doss is trying to add on. Full count pitch. Leg lift and the pitch. Down low, he'll draw the walk. Nice bat flip there and that'll bring up Kevin Balowitz. Runners on first and second for the sevens. In Medfield, they have some warm-up action. Shall Donahue continue to struggle out there? Wind up and the pitch, swing and a miss. Wind up and the pitch. One and one. Wind up and the pitch, fouled away. Well, the Celtics were in action against Portland. We won't update you on the score because Connor wants to watch the DVR when he gets home, but we will tell you the game has gone final. Donahue looks at second and deals. And this is hit high in the air over to center field. And it is caught. Runner from second going to tag and go back. Haven't all thought about trying to advance, but stays put. Two away, and that'll bring up Shea Donovan, the third baseman. Balowitz really drove that ball out there. I think the wind might have had a factor in keeping it in the ballpark. The wind certainly... Uh, was blowing against the ball as it was in the air. And I think if the wind was uh, blowing in the opposite direction, that would have sailed right out of here. There's a strike. Oh and one, runners on first and second, two outs, a three to two lead for the sevens here in the top of the third. Wind up and the pitch. And this is hit in the air over to left field and caught for the third out, but the Sevens do play to run and they lead it three to two as we head to the bottom of the third. You are tuned in to Ashland Sevens Summer Baseball. Bottom of the third inning, top of the order for the Medfield River Rats. Dick Sheehan will start things off. He's the shortstop. Followed by Max Goodman, the second baseman, and Sam Palmer. The center fielder, Tom Nappy on the call, Connor Donovan on camera. A three to two Ashland Sevens lead as Tyler Dossis is set to deliver. And this is up the left side, through the gap into left field it goes. The leadoff single by the leadoff man, Nick Sheehan. That'll bring up Max Goodman, the second baseman. Lefty steps in and Dossis delivers. That is fouled away. Oh and one. That ball's long gone into the trees 
to the left of us. I don't know if they'll get that one back. They're gonna try though, they sent someone in there to go look for it. Best of luck. Doss is set to deliver. And this is hit high in the air. Left side, ranging back is Donovan and he makes the catch. Nice catch by Shea Donovan. Really had a backtrack to get to that one. That'll bring up Sam Palmer, the center fielder. One on, one out for Medfield. Dossus deals up high. Here's the 1 0. Shakes off the first sign and is now set to go. Checking at first, runner back safe. Nice pickoff move there by Dossus. Check in once again, runner back safe. Dossus likes to keep those runners close at first. He doesn't like to give him a big lead. That pitch up high. Two and oh. Inside. Three and O count. There's a strike. Three and one. Thought that was going to be a strike, but it's going to be a walk. I was just getting ready to say strike, but nope. Palmer trots down to first. That'll bring up Sam Kernett, the first baseman. So now there is two on with one out for Medfield. Dossus deals. There's a strike. Dossus seems to be frustrated about something. Not quite sure what. Looks at second and deals. Nice breaking pitch for strike two. Tyler Doss is a quick working pitcher for the sevens. He does not take a whole lot of time between pitches usually. He's working from the stretch right now, so a little bit more time. And there is ball one. I don't know about that one. One and two. That looked good to me. But hey, we're not the umpires. Nice breaking pitch, but it's inside, two and two. Fouled away, battle continues between Sam Kernett and Tyler Dossis. Three to two lead for the sevens here in the bottom of the third, but midfield threatening. Two on and one out. Down low. That'll fill up the count. Dossus delivers. And did he go? He... Nope. The, the umpire's going to say he went. So it will be a strikeout. And I thought he did go. I didn't think he held up quite enough. That bat went around, and the midfield coach certainly doesn't like the call, but if I was the up, I would have called it the same exact way in that situation. That bat came around, and now that'll bring up Ryan Murray. Kernett started shot down to first, thinking he had the walk, and the umpire said, nope, you're out. Chobit signaling to Nick Calabrese in right field. I think he's signaling playback. This guy can hit the ball. Fouled away. Oh and one on Ryan Murray.
Dossus deals. Up the middle, gloved by the shortstop. He'll run over to second for the force out. A nice job there. A six unassisted force out for out number three. We'll keep moving along to the top of the fourth. Ashland leading midfield three to two. You are tuned in Ashland seven summer baseball. Top of the fourth inning, eight, nine, and one do up for the sevens as some wind gusts. Strike us here at Schilling Field. Max Dushney, Nick Calabrese, and Mason Dushney coming to the plate. Eight, nine, and one for the sevens. A three to two lead. And for the moment, Ryan Donahue still out there for Medfield. He was having some discussion with head coach Rob Mintz, and now he seems set to go. I'd imagine the leash is relatively short with Donahue if he continues to struggle into this inning. Line up and the pitch. There's a strike. 0 oh and 1. Max Dush near 267 batting average, 368 on base percentage. Line up and the pitch down low. 1 and 1. So next up for the Ashland Sevens will be playoff baseball. And of course, the winner of this game gets the one seed. The loser will have the two seed. The two top teams in the Massachusetts Independent Baseball League doing battle here. There's a strike. One and two. Playoff schedule is set to be announced, I believe, Tuesday. We'll certainly keep you updated on the HCAM website as well as our social media pages. Line up and the pitch. Down low, two and two. And I've heard that Ashland's home field will be Holliston due to the fact they will have night games and they need some lights. Wind up and the pitch, that's fouled away. And pretty much the four top seeds, their home field will be a host site for the first round. And there'll be a couple of games on each field each day of the playoffs, which starts Thursday. We'd imagine Ashland will be playing on Thursday in the nightcap. But you can see more about the playoffs on the MILB website, which you could find through their Twitter page, Massachusetts Independent Baseball League. And we'll certainly have an explanation of how the playoffs work as well on our website, hcam.tv. Line up and the pitch, swing and a miss. There's out number one. That'll bring up Nick Calabrese, who has been red hot in that ninth spot all season long in the sevens lineup. I think that's why Coach Obed keeps him there. He's so effective in that ninth spot. I know last year he tried moving him up and he wasn't as effective as he will follow one off himself here. That had to hurt. He's gonna walk it off. Looks like it went right off his shin. I think the umpire's gonna check on him as well. We'll see if he stays in. It looks like he's trying to walk it off. Well, we certainly know he's a tough competitor. He doesn't want to come out of this game for sure. And he's going to run it out and see if he's OK. But I can't imagine that tickled. That is a tough one. Foul ball right off the shin. Continuing to walk it out. Calabrese on the season heading into this game, 622 batting average, 667 on base percentage. He's driven in 11 runs and scored 14. Impressive stuff. Well, we got tornado warnings throughout the area as well today. One was just issued for Berkshire County as this is fouled away and Litchfield County in Connecticut. 
Fortunately, none for our area yet. But it's been a wild day weather-wise. And all teams in the MILB in action today. The last official day of regular season play is tomorrow. And 10 teams are in action tomorrow as this is lined right at the third baseman, two away. And we'll bring up Mason Dushney, the shortstop. He's 0 for 2 today. Wind up and the pitch, fouled away. And into the parking lot, fortunately it didn't hit anyone's car. <laughs> they don't have the best parking uh, set up here. It's right near the field. It's convenient walking wise, but from a foul ball standpoint, not so much. Here's the 0-1. Inside, one and one. Wind up and the pitch. In there for a strike. One and two is the count. Down low. Two and two. Ball three, they'll fill up the count. Dushney continuing to battle Donahue. Time called by Dushney. Three to two lead for the sevens here at the top of the fourth. Wind up and the pitch. And there's strike three, got him a one, two, three, top of the fourth, to the bottom of the inning we go. Ashland three, Medfield two on HCAM, WACA TV and HCAM. Top of, uh, bottom of the fourth inning, six, seven, and eight due up for Medfield as Jerry McDonald, the third baseman, steps in. He'll be followed up by Nick Childs and Luigi Masto as the first pitch in there for a strike. Down low. Fouled away. One and two. One, two count. And this is up the middle, past the reach of the second baseman into right field it goes. Lead off single for McDonald. Tyler Dossis, a 17 year old out of Assabet Valley High School on the mound today. He's pitched pretty well up to this point. Wind up and the pitch. In there for a strike. Dossis from the stretch. He delivers. Swing and a miss. So oh and two. Connor, see if the feed's live. 
Down low and outside, gets away from the catcher. Runner gonna take off from first base. He'll advance to second with ease. Well, Hornung accidentally just kind of kicked that ball away and allowed the runner to advance. And now the infield up gonna move over to behind the plate since there's a runner at second. He wants a better vantage point on third base. And this is up the left side, gloved by the third baseman, throw to first and he got him. A nice play there by Shea Donovan. One on, one out. Musto, the left fielder, will step in. Oh, maybe not. Oh. That pitch is down low. Down low. Wind up and the pitch. A little low there, three and oh. It's been a tight strike zone today for sure. Doss is set to deal, looks at second and delivers, hit high in the air over to left field and it is caught. Runner from second thought about tagging, but will stay put. Two away, that'll bring up Mike Giglio, the catcher. Looks like we may have a pinch hitter here for Medfield. Wind starting to pick up once again. Swing and a miss. That's Ben Leonard at the plate. Big whip of wind. Line up in the pitch. A little low. In there for a strike. Dossus deals up high. One and two is the count on Ben Leonard, who stepped in a hit for Mike Giglio. And he'll get a piece of this one in the air. That'll drop into left field. And a run going to come around to score and will. And we are knotted up at three apiece. An RBI single there for Leonard. That'll bring up Nick Sheehan, the shortstop. Doss is set to deliver. There's a strike. Wind up and the pitch, up high. One and one. And this is up the left side, dropped by Donovan. Can he recover? No. That was a tough play to make. He had a whip around, had the throw to first base, but hesitated a little bit. And Nick Sheehan reaches on the first error of the day. So now it's two on, two outs. A run has scored, and it's 3-3 game. Max Goodman, the second baseman, steps in. Swing and a miss. Well, you're certainly getting some good baseball here today, as advertised. The two best teams in the league playing a great competitive game here today. 
Now it's fouled away, 0 oh and 2. Well, you know this game's gonna go right down to that seventh inning. Doesn't look like anyone's gonna pull away here this evening. The 0-2. The umpire didn't like it. One and two. Dasa steals. Up the right side, gloved by Kavanaugh. He'll run it over to first and step on the bag for the out. But Medfield ties things up and it, we are knotted at three apiece as we head to the top of the fifth on HCAM, WACA TV, and HCAT. Top of the fifth inning, two, three, and four do up for the sevens. We're knotted at three apiece as Sam Farrell steps in. He'll take a strike from Ryan Donahue. Sam Farrell, Jackson Horning, Dom Cavanaugh do up. Wind up and the pitch. And he'll get a piece of this one over to center field. It goes to the fence and that is gone. See you later. Sam Farrell with the solo shot. And the sevens lead it four to three. Sam Farrell going yard. And that was to left center. That was hit about 355 feet by Sam Farrell, if I had a guess. What a shot that was. As Jackson Hornung steps in, down low. Sam Farrell's first home run of the season. Outside. Came into the game with a 357 batting average, 609 on base percentage. His teammates are pumped about that one. Wind up and the pitch. Well, if there was ever a way to give a good momentum lift, Sam Farrell just did it there. Line up and the pitch. And there for a strike. Three and one is the count. Swing and a miss, full count. Wind up and the pitch, fouled away. Look out fans. Good turnout for this game here on this Sunday evening. It's the first game in a while we've had some nice cool weather for baseball. Skies are cloudy here at Schilling Field, but storms holding off for the moment. Wind up and the pitch. Check swing, couldn't hold. He's gonna try to run it out. Throw down, not a problem. One away. And that'll bring up Tom Cavanaugh, the first baseman. Cavanaugh one for one today with a sacrifice RBI ground out and a single. Down low. Wind up and the pitch. Swing and a miss. Here's the 1-1. One, one. And 
there for a strike, says the umpire. One and two. And this is up the middle, glove by the pitcher, throw to first, got him, two away. That'll bring up Tyler Dossis, the pitcher. Dossis is one for one today with a walk, has an RBI as well. Wind up and the pitch. And this is fouled away just over us. And into the parking lot. Wind up and the pitch. Down low. One and one. In there for a strike, one and two, says the umpire. Ashland fans not happy about some of the ball and strike calls today. Swing and a miss, that's out number three, but Sam Farrell goes yard, and the Ashland Sevens lead it four to three as we head to the bottom of the fifth. You are tuned in to Ashland Sevens Summer Baseball. Bottom of the fifth inning, a four to three, Ashland Sevens lead. Sam Farrell with a solo shot to start off the top of the fifth, puts Ashland back on top. Three, four, and five do up for Medfield as the first pitch from Dossis is low to Sam Palmer. Ashland uh, trying to clinch the number one spot in the postseason, a two and zero oh count now. Down low. Three and oh. Time called. Time was called, the pitch was thrown. Not quite sure if that time was granted. Looks like the umpire having a discussion with Dossis, and it is going to be a walk. So Palmer trots down to first base. That'll bring up Sam Kernett, the first baseman. So runner on, no outs here in the bottom of the fifth. Fouled away. Dossis deals, checking at first, runner back safe. Nice throw down by Hornung. One and one. Dossis looks at first and delivers up high. Two one. Swing and a miss. And Kernick gets tripped up on that swing. Two and two. That made the Ashland bench erupt. Line up and the pitch upstairs. Full count. It looks like Maddie Tomaselli and Louis Dennison are heading to the warm up area. It looks like Dylan Fonseca is going to get loose as well. It's fouled away. So they are going to have a couple guys getting loose out there in right field in case Tyler Dossis runs into struggles.
Full count pitch. Inside, runner takes off from first. Doesn't matter, it is a walk. Two on, no outs. Ryan Murray, the right fielder, will step in. And Jackson Hornung wants some words with Tyler Dossis. Try to get him to calm down a little bit. Some words of encouragement. Wind up and the pitch. There's a strike. Oh and one. Ryan Murray 0 for 2 in the game. Two on, no outs for Medfield. And this is hit high in the air over to left field. And it is caught by the shortstop, one away. Nice job by Mason Dushney running that one out. That'll bring up Jerry McDonald, the third baseman. Dossis from the stretch. He delivers down low. Two on, one out for Medfield. A four to three lead for Ashland. Yump didn't like it. Two and oh. Well, there's been a lot of disagreements with the home plate umpire's calls in this game. And I think uh, that should definitely be one of them. I know it's a different angle from behind the mound, but strict strike zone, I guess, as this is driven to center field, caught, and the throw to second, they'll double him up. How about that? Sam Palmer was cut off guard, and he thought that was going to drop in for a hit. Started running to third. It was caught, and... A great throw by Farrell to the second baseman to double him up, and we will head to the top of the six. Ashland leading Medfield 4-3. to three. You are tuned in to Ashland 7's Summer Baseball. Top of the sixth inning. Six, seven, and eight do up for the sevens. Kevin Balowitz, the left fielder. Shea Donovan, the third baseman. And Max Dushney, the second baseman. Wind up and the pitch to Balowitz, swing and a miss. Ryan Donahue out there for his sixth inning of work. A 4-3 Ashland 7's lead here in the top of the sixth. Nice double play to retire the side in the bottom of the fifth, down low. It was a great catch in center field by Sam Farrell, and then he threw out Sam Palmer trying to get back to the second base bag. Wind up and the pitch, down low. Two and one. Donahue deals. There's a strike. Two and two. Donahue set to deliver. Upstairs. Full count. Well, the Sevens would love to try to break this game open a little bit here in the sixth inning. Balowitz, he's certainly overdue for a hit. 0 for 2 at the plate today. Wind up and the pitch. Swing and a miss. He won't get a hit here. One away. That'll bring up Shea Donovan, the third baseman. He's 0 for 2 so far today. It's been a good pitching matchup between Ryan Donahue and Tyler Dossis. Jay Donovan, a 17-year-old out of Ashland, set to graduate in 2021. There's a strike. Yeah. 
Wind up in the pitch, and this is up the middle, and that'll get through into center field. It'll be a one-out single for Shea Donovan. Max Dushney will step in. Donahue set to deliver. Checking at first, runner back safe. Line up and the pitch. Inside, look out. Two one pitch. Inside. Throw over to second. Donovan takes off and he has the stolen base. Good steal air by Shea Donovan. Three and O count. On Max Dushney. He has struck out both times at the plate today. He'll take a strike there. Three and one. Still pretty cloudy over at Schilling Field and maybe a raindrop here and there, but not too much. Looks like the storms for now are missing us. Wind up and the pitch, and he'll get a piece of this one over to center field. It's caught. Two away. That'll bring up Nick Calabrese. Nick Calabrese singled in the second inning and stole a base, and he's lined out today. An opportunity here with a man in scoring position. Donahue looks at second base and deals outside. One and oh. And he thought about checking in at second base, runner back. Donahue working from the stretch, slight lead at second base by Donovan, down low, and it gets away from the catcher, the runner will hold. Smart move there. Donahue waits the sign. Donovan continuing to take a lead at second base. Wind up and the pitch. Slightly outside there. Three and oh. oh Calabrese draws the walk here. You get the top of the order up. I'm guessing on a 3-0 count he won't swing. We'll see. Down low he'll draw the walk. Two on, two outs. Mason Dushney to the plate. Dushney 0 for 3 today at the plate. A 4 to 3 lead for the Ashland Sevens here in the top of the sixth. Sam Farrell had a solo shot to start off the top of the fifth inning to put Ashland back on top. Line up and the pitch. There's a strike. Farrell drove it right out to left center. Had to be at least a 355, 360 foot shot. 
Both runners with slight leads, swing and a miss. 0-2. Oh Line up and the pitch, fouled away. The battle continues. Just past seven o'clock. This game was supposed to start at five. Ended up starting more like 5.15, 5.20 due to a rain delay. Some thunder and lightning in the area. And it was raining a bit at the start of this game, but since the rain has held off, and we hope it continues to do so. Runner taking off from second. And third, a double steal. And no throw up by Giglio. I don't even think he saw that was coming. How about that, Shea Donovan stealing second and stealing third. Oh, and you got a lot of speed in your lineup. And an aggressive base running approach. It is going to be... Pretty fun out there. As there's a strikeout, catcher drops it, has to throw up, will throw up, and get him. That'll be out number three. We will head to the bottom of the sixth. Ashland leading Medfield, four to three. You are tuned in to Ashland 7 Summer Baseball. Bottom of the sixth inning. Tyler Doss is out there for another inning of work. Seven, eight, and nine to up for Medfield. Nick Childs, Luigi Masto, and Mike Giglio. Actually, I believe Ben Leonard is in for Mike Giglio behind the plate. So Childs will step in. He's 0 for 2 today. Wind up and the pitch. There's a bunt up the left side. Picked up and dropped by Donovan. Well, that would have been a tough play to make. Donovan had to try to barehand that one, so I'll give Childs a single on that. That'll bring up Luigi Motto, the left fielder. Well, that's some momentum there for Medfield to start off this bottom of the sixth. Upstairs. Fouled away, one and one. Well, good news, as of right now, the radar is clear. So it looks like we should be okay for the rest of this game. Line up and the pitch. Nice pitch there, one and two. Good breaking ball. Dossus winds and deals, hit high in the air, left side, and it is caught. Four out, number one. Good range there by Balowitz. I'll bring up Ben Leonard, the catcher. So one on, one out for Medfield. Well, next inning, it'll be Two, three, and four do up for the sevens. So the power part of the order. Runner taking off from first row to second gets away. Stolen base by Childs as Mason Dushney just could not hang on to it. Nearly had him. It was a good throw up by Hornung. It's certainly pretty dark out there on the field with the Cloud coverage and the sun setting, of course. So that one's fouled away. One and one is the count on Leonard. Wind up and the pitch, and this is hit in the air, foul territory and out of play. One and two. 
Looked like Shea Donovan was about to try to jump the fence to make that catch. Hustled right down that line. Here's the one-two pitch. Got him. Two away. That'll bring up Nick Shea in the shortstop. Run around second, two outs for Medfield. And Coach Obed directing traffic. There's a strike. Wind up and the pitch. And this is ripped up the right side through the reach of the second baseman. Here comes Childs. He'll come around to score, and we're not at that four apiece. An RBI single for Nick Sheehan. Well, it's going to come down to the seventh inning. Max Goodman will step in. Well, the thing is, too, if it goes into extras, sunlight's definitely a factor here. It's already pretty dark out there with the cloud coverage. Doss is set to deal. There's a strike. And there is no lights here at Schilling Field. Wind up and the pitch. There's a strike. Nick Sheehan, the leadoff man, he is getting the job done today. Two singles on the day, an RBI, a run score, a walk, as this is up the right side, that's a fair ball. And the lead runner, Nick Sheehan, waved around third. He's going to try to score, and he will, but it won't matter because Max Goodman was thrown out going to second. So the score will remain. Four to four as we head to the top of the seventh. The Ashland Sevens coming up to the plate next on HCAM, WACA TV, and HCAT. Two, three, and four do up for the Ashland Sevens as we start this top half of the seventh inning. It is a four to four ball game. Sam Farrell, Mr. Home Run, stepping to the plate. One for two with the solo shot, and he was hit by a pitch. And he would certainly like to have another one of those solo shots here. Farrell, Hornung, and Kavanaugh do up this inning. Ryan Donahue is out there for Medfield. And it is getting very dark out there. If this game goes into extras, there will be some issues with light. Wind up and the pitch. That hit him. Lead man on for the sevens. Maybe a little revenge for that home run earlier. Jackson Hornung will step in. Hornung is one for two today. He was hit by a pitch, singled, and has stolen a base and scored two runs. Another good day as usual for Jackson Hornung. Checking at first, runner back safe. Well, the in MILB rules, if the game is tied and sunlight's an issue, it does end in a tie. And that would still mean Ashland would be the number one seed in the playoffs, because you get a point for a tie. And Ashland has one more win than Medfield, so a tie does favor the sevens. But obviously they are hoping for a W instead of the tie. Wind up and the pitch. Inside, one and one. Donahue set to deal. And this is fouled away. One and two. Right towards Connor's car. Let's 
Sam Farrell at first base after being hit by a pitch. Line up and the pitch. Down low, runner taking off, and he'll slide into second safely. A stolen base for Farrell. The speedy Sam Farrell getting the job done. A nice steal there. Some nice respect shown by Max Goodman, the second baseman as well, giving Farrell a pat on the back. A lot of these players on the field right now familiar with each other from high school play. Medfield, Ashland, Halston, all in the TVL. Donahue set to deliver. Medfield also has warm-up action. And this is ripped up the left side. That'll get through. Farrell going to head over to third, and that's where he'll stay. But a single for Hornung. Two on, no outs. Dom Kavanaugh to the plate. Big opportunity here for the sevens. And will we see a pitching change? It looks like Rob Mintz taking the slow walk out to the mound. And he might take the ball here. Mintz going to visit with the pitcher, and as of right now, he's staying out there. He hasn't taken the baseball yet, so it looks like, at least for the moment, Donahue's going to stay out there. And he will indeed stay out there to pitch. And Dom Cavanaugh will step to the plate. A four to four game here in the top of the seventh. The sevens have two on, no outs. Sam Farrell at third, Hornung at first. And with uh, Farrell's speed, if you put this, if you hit one to any part of the outfield pretty much, she's gonna tag and try to score. And this is hit high in the air, right side, and caught. And Farrell gonna try to tag the throw home. Is not gonna be in time. Farrell scores the go-ahead run. What a slide into home plate by Sam Farrell. It's a five to four sevens lead. A sacrifice, RBI fly out for Kavanaugh. Horning advancing to second. And the sevens back on top. Tyler Dossis heading to the plate. This has been a tremendous back and forth baseball game. As advertised between these two great teams, this is the kind of game you would expect. What a regular season finale. First pitch to Dossis outside. Well, I don't think there's any doubt if the Sevens hang on for the win that Sam Farrell will be the player of the game. Swing and a miss. Farrell has scored three runs. He was hit by two pitches, and he had that crucial solo shot in the fifth inning to put the Sevens up four to three, and now able to slide in past the catcher's tag to put the Sevens back on top five to four. Donahue set to deal. There's a strike. One and two is the count on Tyler Dossis. And it'll be interesting to see if the seven send Dossis out there to try to close it. Hornung taking off, throw to third. Not gonna get there in time. Jackson Hornung sneaking a steal through. That's his second stolen base of the day. Line up and the pitch. And this is hit in the air over to right field. That'll get down, but it's foul. That was just foul along that right field line. I 
That would have certainly been another run for sure for the Sevens if that landed fair. He's set to deal, wind up and the pitch. And Dossus gets a piece of this. It's foul, look out. And actually hit a fan right in the back. We hope he's okay. And he's good, he waves it off. Coach O'Leary chucking in on the fan. Nice rocket in the foul territory by Dossus. Line up and the pitch. Down low, and he'll draw the walk. Two on, one out. The run is already scored in the inning for the Sevens, who lead it five to four. And Kevin Balowitz to the plate. Runners on the corners, one out. Balowitz 0 for 3 at the plate. Takes that low. And now the runner from third gonna try to score, and he will! Jackson Hornung slides in! So Hornung scores on the wild pitch. Dossis up to second. It's a 6 to 4 sevens lead. Nice run down the line there by Hornung, and Donahue hesitated trying to cover home plate. And he should have been uh, running towards home plate right off the gun there. But that little hesitation, that cost him. They would have probably had Hornung with ease if the pitcher immediately started running down. And that's going to be the day for Ryan Donahue. He'll come out after six and a third. Worked. Good effort by Donahue. It is not an easy lineup to deal with, but he kept this tough lineup at bay for the most part. But now the seven starting to rally here in the top of the seventh. They lead it six to four. We'll take a timeout. You are tuned in to Ashland Seven Summer Baseball. Pitcher for Medfield. It's Drew Backey out there as Kevin Balowitz steps in. There's a strike. A six to four lead for the Ashland Sevens. Two more runs have been plated in this inning. Still only one out and a runner on second. It's Tyler Dossis over at second. There's a strike. Dossis reached earlier on a walk. Back he's set to deliver. Outside. Two and two is the count on Balowitz. Wind up and the pitch. Outside there. That'll fill up the count. Sevens would love to continue adding some more security here in the top of the seventh. Runner will retreat back to second as back he steps off. Wind up and the pitch. And this is hit high in the air over to left field and it is caught. And Doss is going to tag and he will retreat back to second. That'll bring up Shea Donovan, the third baseman. Two outs in the inning for the Sevens. Wind up and the pitch. A little outside there, one and oh. Shea Donovan so far, one for three at the plate. Had a single last inning and stole a couple of bases. 
Take that one in there for a strike. One and one. Seven stolen bases in the game for the sevens. There's a strike, one and two. Back, he's shaking off signs and time called by Donovan. Wind up in the pitch, up high, runner taking off, throw to third, is gonna get into left field, and now he's gonna try to come around to score, and Dossis will come around and score. Well, how about that, a big risk trying to steal third, but sometimes when you take that risk, you get an errant throw into left field, it goes off the third baseman's glove, and Dossis scores the seventh run of the game for the Ashland Sevens. Swing and a miss, and that'll wrap up the top half of the seventh. But the Ashland Sevens, they play not one, not two, but three runs, and they lead it seven to four as we head to the bottom of the seventh on HCAM, WACA TV, and HCAT. Bottom of the seventh inning, midfield down to their final three outs. We have a new pitcher, Dylan Fonseca, is in the game to try to close it out. Tyler Doss has pitched a rock solid. Six innings in this one. First pitch in there, four strike to Sam Kermit. Wind up in the pitch. There's a strike. Set to deliver. Up high. One and one. Fonseca will step off. The Ashland Sevens trying to clinch the one seed. In the Massachusetts Independent Baseball League playoffs, they are three outs away from doing so. And this is driven in the air over to left center, and it's going to be dropped by Balowitz. He had to cover a lot of ground to get there and just couldn't hang on. A single for Sam Kernett, and that'll bring up Ryan Murray. He actually had ended up advancing to second base on the mishandle, and now Murray, the right fielder, will step in. So runner in scoring position for Medfield, and this is the dangerous part of their order, the four, five, and six spots. Now you got Ryan Murray in there, who's 0 for three so far today. And actually, it looks like we're gonna have a pinch hitter. Down low. Excuse me, that's Sam Kernett in there. It was Sam, Sam Palmer who last hit. And this is hit in the air over to center field and caught. For the out, tagging from second is Palmer and he advances to third. Nice catch by Sam Farrell. He had to cover a ton of ground, lost the hat in the process. And he was right on the warning track as he made that catch. Now Ryan Murray will step in. Fonseca deals. There's a strike. And it's starting to get really dark out there. I doubt that if somehow this game ended up going into extras, which obviously at this point we're certainly hoping it doesn't, that they would continue. Wind up in the pitch. That's fouled away. Five, 
A seven to four lead for Ashland. Medfield has a runner on third and one out. Wind up and the pitch. Swing and a miss. And there is out number two. The sevens are one out away. And it'll bring up Jerry McDonald, the third baseman. Wind up and the pitch. And this is hit in the air over to center field. That'll get down and a run is around to score. An RBI single for McDonald. It's a seven to five ball game. And it'll bring up Nick Childs, the DH. As Coach Obed will have a discussion with Fonseca. Childs is one for three today. He has singled, flown out, and grounded out. Fonseca is set to deliver. And this is up the middle, glove by the shortstop, throw to second, and they will get the force out, and that is your ball game. The Ashland Sevens are the regular season title holders in the Massachusetts Independent Baseball League, and they have clinched the first seed in the Massachusetts Independent Baseball League playoffs as they take down Medfield by a final of seven to five, the Ashland Seven scores seven runs on six hits, commit one error, Medfield five runs on 10 hits and commit two errors. And the Ashland Sevens, a tremendous victory here today, will finish regular season play with 14 wins and a loss, Medfield will finish their regular season with 12 wins and three losses. And they are gonna do their team talk and the Andrew Sternick Award, it's right in front of us, so we'll stay tuned to this and see if we can pick up uh, what Coach Obed has to say, but some tremendous performances in the game today by a number of contributors, Tony Dossis was or excuse me, Tyler Dossis was tremendous on the mound as he went six strong innings. Dylan Fonseca came in to get the save. Tyler Dossis, your winning pitcher. The losing pitcher is Ryan Donahue. The save is going to go to Dylan Fonseca. And your player of the game is going to be Sam Farrell, who was just tremendous at the plate today. A big solo home run. He was hit by a couple of pitches. He scored three runs, and he was a huge contributor out there for the sevens as he was involved in three of their seven runs today. Sam Farrell, your player of the game, and the Ashland Sevens are the Massachusetts Independent Baseball League regular season champions, and they get the one spot in the playoffs as they finish off the season with 14 wins and one loss, and we'll certainly have playoff coverage for you coming up. We'll let you know when those games are on our website, hcam.tv, as well as our Facebook and Twitter pages. Medfield, five runs on 10 hits and two errors. Ashland, seven runs on six hits and one error. A great team win here today by the Ashland Sevens, and we certainly look forward to playoff baseball coming up in the very near future. For Connor Donovan on camera, I'm Tom Nappy. This has been Ashland Sevens, Massachusetts Independent, League Baseball on HCAM and Hopkinton, WACA TV in Ashland, HCAT in Holliston. The final score for the final time, Ashland defeats Medfield 7-5 and finishes regular season play with 14 wins and a loss. We thank you for watching here on this Sunday evening. Take care, enjoy the rest of your day, and we'll talk to you again soon. Good night, everybody.